Today on our 2016 GMC Sierra, we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Class 4 2-inch Kurt trailer hitch receiver. The hitch is going to have a gloss black finish, and for the most part, it stays pretty well hidden behind the bumper. Now that our Sierra has a hitch on it, it's going to be able to tow things like trailers, campers, boats, jet skis, or we can even use it for things like bike racks or cargo carriers. This is a Class 4 hitch. It's going to have a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver opening, a reinforced collar, and a standard 5 8 hitch pin hole. Now this receiver does not come with a hitch pin, but you can pick one up on eTrailer.com. The safety chain loops are welded to the bottom of the receiver, and there is quite a bit of space here, so you shouldn't have any issues using just about any size hook. The hitch's maximum tongue weight is 1,000 pounds. That's the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. The maximum trailer weight, however, is 10,000 pounds. So that's the weight of the trailer plus anything on it. Now you can use a weight distribution system, which does increase the maximum trailer weight to 12,000 pounds and the maximum tongue weight to 1,200 pounds. However, it's always a good idea to check with your vehicle's owner's manual to make sure your truck can pull that amount of weight. Now I'll give you a couple measurements to help you when deciding hitch mounted accessories. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the back bumper is roughly three inches. From the ground to the top edge of the receiver tube opening is about 18 inches. Now that we went over some of the features, let's show you how to install it. To begin our install, we're going to remove our spare tire just to give us a little more room to work with. Next we're going to remove these two bolts right here. We'll do that with a 21 millimeter socket. On this one here, you will need a box wrench to, to hold the top of the bolt steady. And we'll complete that step on the other side. Now, before we put the hitch into place, I just wanna point out where our bolts are gonna go. Our factory hardware, is going to go in these holes and the new bolts that are included will fill these holes. Now with an extra set of hands we can go ahead and put our hitch in place. Now with the hitch in place and our factory hardware hand tight, we can go ahead and install our new hardware. First thing we're going to want to do is take our washers and slide them in between the hitch and the frame. Now you do want to make sure that the hole in the washer lines up with the hole in the frame and the hitch. That way a bolt can go through it nice and easy. So once we have those in place, you can take our spacer and our carriage bolt. Go ahead and drop that down through the hole in the frame into the hitch. And then we can take our nuts, thread them on. With all the hardware installed, we can go ahead and snug them down. The new hardware will use a three quarter inch socket and the factory hardware will use a 21 millimeter. With everything snugged up or ready to torque it down, you can find the specification and your instructions. That'll complete our look at our Kurt trailer hitch receiver on our 2016 GMC Sierra.